Well hello there and welcome to Holy Habitus, my video blog on discipleship. My name is Phil and today we're continuing looking at the topic of discipling new believers. To do that we've been using this uh, strange advent calendar consisting of four spiritual doors which uh, describe the normal Christian birth and as disciples we need to have these on our radar. The first door you might remember was repent, repentance, you repent of your sins towards God. The second door was believe in the Lord Jesus, put faith into action. And the third door is this, be baptised in water. This is a key thing we need to help new disciples to think about and to do. Be baptised in water. It's a lovely practical thing really and uh, if it's a wonderful thing really that God has given this dramatic uh, and symbolically rich action uh, for disciples to undergo in order to mark concretely in history a moment uh, where what has happened internally is expressed externally that their old life is over and their new life is beginning and it's like a new birth they're emerging from the womb of the baptistry having washed away the old life because the baptistry is also a symbol of a bath and, and rising out of the tomb again more symbol, symbolism rising out of the tomb into new life the life that Jesus gives him in his resurrection power and it's, it's a lovely moment and a way marker on the journey so we want to encourage new disciples to be seriously thinking about this because it's a command of Jesus and, and, and it's the norm in scripture where you've been converted get baptised um, and so the normal Christian birth somewhere in there we need to make sure they're getting baptized and put the challenge out there put the pitch now they need to take that step and choose it for themselves but we need to put the challenge out there and to say this is the norm so you know you're following jesus one key feature of following jesus in these early days is just step out and get baptized and then we need to help people explore and understand that and do it so that might involve it is us in my case I tried to do a few sessions with them unpacking the theological significance and meaning of baptism uh, Mark 1 uh, repentance um, as washing away the, the old life but also Romans 6 and participating in Jesus death and resurrection and how they're rising to a new life and all of that rich stuff to explore so that their that baptism is a meaningful and significant uh, occasion for them and uh, dealing with practical issues you know they might have a phobia of water or fear of being in public or whatever it is and we can dispel some of those things and explore and wrestle that stuff through so that person is able to be baptized and for that to be a significant and a important and a exciting moment for them in their journey that they can always look back on and it's a privilege for us as well isn't it so think about that this week who might you be in the pool with this time in a few weeks time or a years time and I think what a privilege that would be and work towards that